Hello and welcome to a new episode of Loxone Explained. The video format for all tech enthusiasts, Loxone partners, and those wanting to become automation installers. In one of our last videos, we took a closer look at how to implement lockout protection for shaded exit doors using only the miniserver. Now that summer is in full effect, we'll stay in the garden or on the terrace in today's episode. Today, we'll take a closer look at how to automate lighting, music, and much more in the outdoor setting based on presence. Because especially in the outdoor area, there are a few considerations to make before this works the way it should. Especially in those warm summer months, we love to spend time outside in the garden or on the terrace. And of course, we want the music to start automatically or the lights to switch on. Just like in the indoor areas, exact presence detection is an important prerequisite for all automated processes outdoors, whether it is activating the lighting or the music, stopping the garden irrigation or deactivating the mowing process of a robotic lawnmower. But there's a crucial difference in presence detection compared to indoor environments. For example, it can happen that cats, rabbits or other animals run through the garden and across the terrace and are then detected by the presence sensor. That means the presence detection alone should not be the deciding factor in whether to turn on lights and music. Otherwise, it could happen in the middle of the night. And that's why we recommend combining this, for example, with the open state of the patio door to reliably determine presence. In concrete terms, this could mean in our example that the lighting or music is only switched on when presence is detected. But in addition, the patio door is also open. So when two factors are combined, that allow us to assume human presence. But now for the question you're all probably asking yourselves. How do we solve all of this in the configuration? Well, let's find out. In our example, we use a presence sensor on the terrace and a window handle air for the terrace door. Of course, we could also use the door and window contact air or an integrated door and window contact that is connected to the mini server via digital input. We've already configured our lighting and music on the terrace. Now, to record the presence, we use the presence function block. It is now important that we deactivate the check mark at our window handle air and our presence detector in the outdoor area by double clicking. You'll find out why in just a moment. Afterwards, we insert the AND block and connect the presence as well as the opening state to the window handle air with the entrances. And be careful, the input of the AND block to which the opening state is connected must be reversed because when the handle is closed, the input returns a 1, and we need a 1 when the door is open. Now I connect the output of the AND block with the input ACT, which activates the presence with a rising edge. The only thing left to do is insert a memory flag, which I connect to the output PC of the presence block. And I can now connect this memory flag to the lighting control and the audio player, and we're done. And already the lighting and music are automatically activated if the door is open and presence on the terrace is detected. This presence status on the terrace can now also be used, for example, to stop the watering or to deactivate the lawnmower robot. But I've got another important tip for you at this point. If you have implemented an alarm system with Loxone, we recommend not to include the presence detector in the outdoor area in your alarm chain. This can otherwise quickly lead to false alarms. Now, if you simply double click on the alarm module and uncheck the outdoor presence detector, then the alarm will not be accidentally triggered at night by stray cats. So, you see, there are many products and functions from the Loxone system that can be combined to make a building truly intelligent. And if you're curious about all the possibilities this system has to offer and interested in a partnership with Loxone, you'll find all the information you need on our website. And if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video. See you next time.